There is always a lubang around. You always can. All you need to do is mito yao. There is always an opportunity around. You always can. All you need to do is just do it. That was a little bit of Singlish and Malay because the place where my guest on this week of Curry Connect hails from is Singapore. Jalain Wong works as an HR business partner at Cornerstone on Demand and has also worked previously at leading companies like Leo Burnett, YNR, Boston Consulting and Way Communications for many years now. She shares some key recruitment tips, some extremely essential networking tips for LinkedIn, first impression tips, as well as how to answer some cringe-worthy interview questions, including the big fat remuneration question. Check it out. I'm sure you're going to like it. How does one go about looking for a job in this kind of a pandemic situation right now? Right. I guess um, in terms of the local market right now, um, I see that a lot of jobs are being cut off. I've heard stories of people where they are fresh grads, you know, they have already secured a job, but because of the global pandemic situation, their job offers have been pulled off. So um, that said, um, I would say finding a job now in the, in the current situation is actually quite challenging itself. But that said, doesn't mean that there isn't no jobs. There is no jobs in the market right now. There is just that, I guess, uh, it, it really, you know, increases the competition amongst your competitors. And that said, all the more you need to really stand out. Right. So how do you then stand out, you know, from the perspective of a CV? Uh, yeah. How do you sharpen your CV to, let's say, let you get through the CV stage, you are being invited to an interview. How do you then nail your interview, right? And how do you be confident and how do you then secure the jobs among so many applicants? So I guess it's still possible, but I think um, if, if you are a strong person with, with a lot of experience, for example, or even with a lot of confidence and know what you want, I wouldn't think that it, it will actually affect your job application a lot. It just takes a little bit longer time than usual. Yeah, so fresh grads to, I mean, to a lot of fresh grads, um, take it slow, don't rush into it. In fact, wait for it for a few months, you know, if you can. And then once it recovers, I think that is when, you know, you realize that these two months of building up yourself is actually much more useful than getting into a job that you really want to instead of rushing into one. Yeah. Is there one thing that you, that has worked for you when you started networking on LinkedIn? You know, I'm also a millennial myself, right? And, and, and I see a lot of millennials, my, my peers, my friends, they are not actually leveraging our social media, our digital skills enough. Mm. Um, right now there is like, you know, platforms like LinkedIn, where actually I see a lot of people not using them. They don't even have an account even, right? So that itself, it actually cut down a lot of opportunities, a lot of networking opportunities. Right now, I would say that the, the, the current situation, regardless there's a pandemic or not, people are networking through LinkedIn. People are networking through social media. And for the fact that you not having that account yeah. is actually putting yourself in, in, in such a disadvantage to many other people. And in fact, you know, of, of the four, four workplaces that I've been at, of which three of them came from LinkedIn. So, you know, like opportunities came to me from LinkedIn. How would you suggest answering these two questions? Yeah. One is uh, the remuneration question. The second question is about, uh, you know, do you have any questions? So when the recruiter asks you, do you have any questions? The answer is you should. Right, because just imagine yourself, okay? You are here for an interview. Yeah. It's always me as a recruiter asking you a lot of questions. Yeah. How can you not have any question about the company? Because that's only how much you can find out about the company from the website, from Wikipedia, from Glassdoor, right? Mm -hmm. There's there's only so much information that's public. So there, there's definitely a lot of questions revolving things that are soft. Like for example, how's the culture like? in a company. Hmm. It's something that you can Google, right? Yeah. So, or rather, how's the manager's working style like? Yeah. Right. Then, um, I guess the purpose of us asking that question is really, you know, seeing how much of, it, of an interest do you have in this job. Uh, as a candidate, I wouldn't advise people asking first, asking how much is this job, yeah. you know, how much salary is this job offering. Uh, always wait for the recruiter to ask you. And even if the recruiter don't ask you, I think 
it is only appropriate, I would say it's more appropriate to ask, let's say you are selected for a second interview, meaning you passed the first interview. How do you make a good and lasting first impression? I feel that there is two aspects here. One is in person, hmm. one is off, I mean online, right? Yes. yes. Um, let's say, okay, let's, let, 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 let's go into the online first, right? Um, yeah. I would say an eye-catching CV, something that sets yourself different from other people. Yeah. Right. So it can be aesthetically, it can be the kind of experience that you have. Mm. But basically, it's the overall package. Yeah. It's yeah. Just like how you see a model walk down the walkway, right? So, mm. you know, it's not just because the model is pretty, it's also because how the model dresses, how the model carries herself. Yeah. So it's really a whole package, mm. right? And that's one. And then, second, I, I would think, um, Grammar error and basically making sure that you have vet, vet your work like three or four times or five times even to make sure that that is the final product and not seen as something that is like a draft. Yeah. I think that's professionalism. Yeah. So professionalism. And I would say the third point is mannerism. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you can actually see someone's mannerism from the way he or she draft the CV like the kind of words that a person used to describe yeah. Yeah. himself or herself. Yeah. You know, you, you, you kind of can tell whether this person is a humble person or somebody very overconfident. And, and, and boils down to, I mean, the second point, which is body language. So actually, um, interestingly, when I was studying HR, there was one module that I studied before in school. Um, we studied like, body language so like it's something like psychology yeah um, where we actually study how how certain actions you know um portrays the person in different personalities mm -hmm. so like if you are shaking your leg if you are like putting your arm like that and you are holding your arms it says a lot about the person yes yeah or even intersecting your sentences before the person continues the, the story right so things like that are really really make a strong impression. And lastly, I think, uh, I would say it's really confidence and knowing what you want. Mm -hmm. I've had so many interviews where actually a lot of people just apply because it's just a job. Or because let's say I want to go into marketing. Anything marketing can really, you know, like any job will do. Are yeah. you serious? You know, like marketing has such a big, you know, broad like PR, is it advertising or is it, you know, like things like that. So which one do you want? It's, they are very different, you know. Internal marketing versus uh, agency marketing is so different. So what do you want? As an advice, right, whether is it to fresh grads or to anyone looking for a job during this period, especially now that it's such a trying period for everyone, I think, I think really be patient, be positive, and really, you know, take this time off, be it whether unemployed or employed, you know, take this time to build out yourself, to spend more time with yourself, to understand yourself better. I think, I, I think that will help you to be a better person as a whole, regardless whether it's it for the purpose of finding a job or, you know, for the purpose of finding a job in the next one year. <laughs> Things like that. Yes. <laughs> I think that's what you're all doing right now. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ooh, thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. Stay safe, healthy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.